Another brand enters the very populated mini PC space, introducing the Herc Orion 1. And unlike many minis out there, it actually does add something to the table. In fact, this mini differentiates itself from most of the competition in three ways. Two of them exceptionally unique, and we'll check them all out right after this message. Ease Us To Do Backup Home is an award-winning backup solution to keep your data safe. Backup, clone, upgrade, or transfer your system easily, and protect it from ransomware. To Do Backup Home even supports backing up to the cloud. Trial it for free with a link in the video description. Herx Orion 1 comes in a variety of flavors, and each one uses a different AMD Ryzen CPU. For this review, we're looking at the MX model, which features AMD's popular 7840HS CPU with 8 cores, 16 threads, and Radeon 780M graphics. It's housed in this very solid mix of plastic and aluminium casing. The Orion 1 has a heavy feel to it and a pretty nice design. But the first way this mini differs from the usual mini PC is that it's running the CPU at its max 65 watt configuration. So if the cooling holds up, then this will be as good as it gets performance wise. While there is an official website with the products listed, as of this video, the only way to get the Orion 1 is through Indiegogo, and it's available with an early bird price of 595 US dollars for the 32 gigabyte RAM, one terabyte storage combo. So what do you get for that? Apart from the mini, it's the usual accessories, a monitor mount, HDMI cord, and power supply. Though it's bigger than I'd like. The second way the Orion 1 distinguishes itself from the competition is with its port layout. Most of the time, you'll have two USB on the front. This one has four, including USB 4, dual USB 3 10 gigabit, and USB 2. The back adds another dual USB 3 5 gigabit, another USB 4, DisplayPort, and HDMI for four monitors natively. The HDMI port is limited to a maximum of 4K 60, while the other ports can go higher. I tried to power the mini using a USB-C monitor, but neither USB 4 port turned it on. Finally, for networking, there's dual Realtek 2.5 gigabit LAN, and a MediaTek RZ616 is used for Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth. I've found comparing Bluetooth range with an audio speaker to be a pretty reliable method of comparing and showcasing the approximate wireless range of each mini. However, it is testing Bluetooth and not Wi-Fi. Why I mention this is because sometimes the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi antennas are routed in two different places on the Mini, giving different results. And that's the case here. The Bluetooth range on the Herc Orion 1 is low at 2.5 meters or 8 feet for uninterrupted audio playback. However, Wi-Fi worked great from 10 meters. I didn't have any dropouts, connection errors, or low ping, which shows up during the eSports gaming test with minis that have poor Wi-Fi range, like the B-Link Sur 8. And the final unique feature to touch on is the dual 10 watt speakers. Yes, the Orion 1 is the first mini I've come across with inbuilt speakers. They're okay for general use, similar to ones you'd find on a laptop or monitor. There's no bass, and they're not suitable for enjoying music unless your audio standards are really low. One annoyance with the speakers is that the mini makes a beeping noise every time it powers on. Sometimes it does it again within Windows. Very annoying, and at first I didn't know why. But it turns out the speakers are connected via Bluetooth instead of wired to the board. The problem with this is every time the audio connects or drops out, you'll hear this annoying beeping sound. Luckily, you can remove it from your paired Bluetooth devices or just turn Bluetooth off. Overall, it works okay, but I've been told a future Orion Mini PC will connect the speakers in a different hopefully wide way. Opening the Orion 1 is easy. Thanks, Herc. Four exposed screws, and then lift the handy rubber. Another four screws, lift the SSD and RAM cooler carefully to avoid messing up the fan cable, and then you've got access to the memory and storage. There are dual 2280 M.2 Gen 4 NVMe slots, and underneath it is the M.2 Wi-Fi card. Herx Orion 1 comes with Windows 11 Pro pre-installed and has a branded desktop wallpaper, which you don't see too often and is a nice touch. The malware scan came up clean. Everything works in Ubuntu, even the inbuilt speakers. You just need to pair it in the Bluetooth options using the passcode in the manual, which is 
1-1. So as mentioned earlier, Herc has decided to run these minis at their maximum performance mode out of the box, and the results will be listed as the default in the benchmarks. In single core, this mini performs like the other top 7840HS result. Multicore is where we see the benefit of Herc's maximum power approach. It takes third spot on this chart, even though it's not the latest or highest end mobile CPU in AMD's range. Still, the B-Link Sur 7 is almost on par with it. Geekbench scores are also good, third spot in single core, and in multi-core, it even matches the Geekom A88945HS. Nice! The H.264 video encoding test result has the Orion 1 MX in fourth place, and this is the second best AMD result. AV1 encoding is where it can't keep up with the higher end chips, but still a decent showing. With hardware AV1 encoding, Orion 1 is back up there with the best. The biggest surprise though came in the 3 d Mark DX11 test, where it took the number one spot. A respectable 5% increase over the B-Link SO7, even though it's using the same graphics chip. The gain in TimeSpy DX12 is a bit less, just a 3% increase. With the limited Steel Nomad benchmark data I have, this mini is the top AMD Ryzen result. So you can see from the benchmarks, Herxo Orion 1 MX is a very good performer across the board. A Kingston Gen 4 NVMe SSD is included, and the results aren't impressive. The sequential read is barely above Gen 3 speeds, and write is what you'd expect from a good Gen 3 drive. That being said, unless you're transferring large files to another fast drive, this won't matter much in day-to-day -day computing. Okay, it's been a while since I did a direct side-by-side -side comparison. Let's see if that 3D Mark improvement shows in games against the B-Link Sur 7. In Valorant, it's a no, since it's CPU bottlenecked on both minis. Oh yeah, here we go. Forza Horizon 5 showing a big jump for the Orion 1. Definitely an improvement in Elden Ring as well, just not as noticeable. With Cyberpunk 2077, again, Herc's Mini comes out on top. and a nice increase in God of War. While Herx Orion 1 has the benefit of game updates and better drivers since I tested the Sur 7, the large increase in performance is also largely due to the better results we saw in the benchmarks. Switching now to Wii U emulation, the B-Link Sur 7 does better. Doesn't surprise me since the older versions of Semu seem to run faster with this game. PS3 emulation is pretty similar across both, and neither is GPU bottlenecked here. So, 3D Mark was definitely on the mark. Just didn't show how big the improvement really is. Herx Orion 1 MX performs exceptionally well, and the final game test is using an eGPU on the USB 4 port and it works fine with my RTX 3070. Intel's QuickSync gives its CPUs the edge in video editing with integrated graphics, but the 7840HS handles my 4K Adobe Premiere project well, with little stuttering. Herx BIOS has everything important laid out at the top of the advanced menu. Changing the performance mode to a lower one drops the power limit and also fan noise. You can't set a memory overclock, but it doesn't do anything. It'll always run at 5600 MHz, no matter what setting you choose. Idle power draw on this mini is average, while the maximum is a new high for an AMD mini PC. That's part of where the extra performance comes from. What impressed me the most was that it held a maximum CPU temp of 88C, even with a full 65 watts. 
All right, so the default noise is not quiet under load, and that's not surprising given the wattage, but it matches the B-Link Sur 7. Out of curiosity, I did drop the performance profile to balance mode to check how it holds up against most of the other minis, and the result is 38 dBA, which is good. You lose some performance, but power draw will also drop. And the cooling underneath does a great job keeping the NVMe drive under control. Okay, now it's conclusion time. The Herco Orion 1 MX has excellent performance, as we've already seen in the benchmarks and game tests. It takes AMD's Ryzen 7840HS to its maximum as advertised. I like what they've done with the port selection. For someone that plugs in a lot of USB devices, it's much better having four of them at the front. And of course, seven USB ports in total is generous. This Mini has a nice heavy feel to it with a mix of plastic and metal that's well put together and looks nice. Cooling across the Mini is very good, as is the Wi-Fi range. The Orion 1 includes inbuilt speakers, which has been requested more than once in the comments over the years. However, the implementation of said speakers could be better. Currently, it's using Bluetooth instead of being wired. Speaking of Bluetooth, range is short, with the second lowest result so far. I wonder if this has something to do with the inbuilt speakers being in the way. Anyway, a more compact power supply, like the recent ones we've been seeing on many minis, would have been nice as would an Oculink port for the icing on the cake. So the Herc Orion 1 MX does a lot of things right and even outperforms the B-Link Sur 7, which was a great mini PC when it was released. You can find the Orion 1 linked in the video description if you want to take advantage of the Indiegogo early bird offer. That's not an affiliate link, so if you want to support the channel and my goal to test minis as thoroughly as possible with all the good and bad laid out in the review, then check out the shopping links where I get a small cut on any purchase and keeps this channel independent. Thanks for watching, and if you really want a mini PC with an Oculink port, my review of the AU Star Gem 12 will be of interest to you, as it's also a very good mini PC, and you can find that review right here. Cheers!